I knew Mandela was one of the youth leaders in the African Congress, and I was back in Johannesburg in 1951 when I first met him and was tremendously impressed, more because of his ebullience and his great vitality, because at that time he wasn't really a very profound leader. He was an extremely handsome, delightful young man, and um, obviously liked nice clothes. He was really very well dressed. So that it was later that I came to see what an extraordinary man he was and how he grew and grew in the struggle. I met Nelson first, it must have been early in 1951, I guess, and uh, it was at the time when the African National Congress and the Indian Congress were planning the defiance campaign, the great passive resistance of 1952. And Nelson was full of vitality and life and obviously a fairly temperamental man, I thought. In fact, I came in on him having quite an argument with one of the Indian leaders. That was before the ANC Youth League had begun to work in real harmony with the Indians. After I met Nelson, I think that both he and Walter Sisulu had a certain confidence in me because at that time I was working with the Reverend Michael Scott, who they trusted completely. And so we had a certain friendship, I think, from the start. And they at the time were involved in organizing the defiance campaign, that great upsurge of activity in the early 50s when both the African Congress and the Indian Congress defied some of the laws of South Africa. And more than 8,500 men and women, mainly Africans, courted imprisonment. Nelson at that time was the volunteer in chief in the organizing. 